So that's how it works. True liberalism in the Thomas Jeffersonian system is you can have any political view or live any way you want as long as you don't affect somebody else or take somebody else's rights. And I see a lot of totalitarianism out of the so-called gay agenda. And an anti-free speech agenda where reporters are arrested in England when they use the word homosexual. So that's why I use that term, heterosexual, homosexual. It's, it, words themselves are not hateful. Like the average dumbed-down person, white or black out there, thinks the word Negro is an N-word. It just means black in Latin. Caucasian just means they believe whites originally developed in the Caucasus. Caucasoid features. It's not anti-white to say Caucasoid. Caucasoid. But this is the ignorance. It's just like the black lady that runs the casino restaurant, read in a book about Martin Luther King's favorite food. Collard greens and fried chicken. I think that may be my favorite food as well. It's just Southern cooking, folks. And what it is is racist Yankees when blacks moved up there after the Civil War. I'm not saying Yankees are bad, but that's where it comes from. They made jokes about blacks eating chicken fried steaks and collard greens and fried okra. But then now Hollywood says it's the South that makes fun of black people uh, eating watermelon and fried chicken. That's what people eat in the South. That's what I eat on the 4th of July. And it ain't because I'm black. It's because it tastes good. But see, this is the mental illness I'm talking about. Don't use the word homosexual. Don't use the word Negro. Don't use the word uh, heterosexual. That's hurtful. No, these are scientific words. And a casino with a black woman managing it a black woman runs it. She wanted to put some southern soul food out on the table. And they had to apologize for it. This is the mind control. Meanwhile, 52% of blacks are never born in this country and aborted. Everybody knows I talk about that at nauseum, but it's over 55 million abortions now. 55 55 million abortions we know about since Roe v. Wade. That's the big issue here. And if you want to talk about black people being exterminated, we've got an example of it coming up. Video of unarmed black man with hands up, killed, shot six times by New Jersey cops. And they follow the police orders. The cops say, I'm going to kill you, and they shoot him. And it's pretty scary. I think a lot of this is contributing to the fact that the media has hyped up a black versus cop agenda and innocent black people are going to pay when scared cops shoot them. But regardless, you got to punish these officers. This is, this, this is very clear cut in my view. And we can't have an attitude where the police are just 100% right all the time and you got to back them no matter what. That will create the climate that's caused so much dislike of the police that people like George Soros are trying to capitalize on. And if you want to talk about bad behavior of the police, we're going to play this video as well. Sleeping Illinois cop claims, quote, it's now illegal to record a police officer in public. They've tried to put people in Illinois in jail for life. We've interviewed the folks. It's been on CBS News for life for filming the police on their own property. They're claiming it's wiretapping to film someone in public. And they've passed an Illinois law pretty much stating that now because the cops were doing it without a law before misappropriating another law, misapplying. Well, this law is unconstitutional. But that's tyranny. You've got cameras everywhere. The police have got cameras with microphones. How do they film you in public? Because there's no perception of privacy. Now, you go to somebody's business, and you tell them you want to have a closed-door meeting with them, and you go behind closed doors in a conference room, and you record somebody in most states that is not illegal. 15 states it is. You've got to have two-party consent. It's one-party consent in most states. I think it's, I think it's uh, disreputable. I think it's, it's wrong, it's usually not admissible in court, but it is a First Amendment right. Uh, but I think it's a gray area when you're in somebody's house or business. It's up to the people letting somebody in to make sure they trust them. So a lot of times people take stuff they record that's legitimate and then they try to project onto that that something bad has gone on. Uh, but to have the police all over the country beating people up, arresting them for filming them in public is a serious crime and police officers that do it need to be arrested and indicted for false charges and official oppression. That'll stop real fast. This is what you see in North Korea. 
not in the United States. We're going to come back and get to a bunch of other news. The doomsday clock set to move to one minute closer to midnight and more. Stay with us. I mean, turning off your normal functions is going to screw your body up. 80 richest people in the world revealed new GOP border security bill removes the border fence. I tell you, it's bipartisan tyranny. That is all coming up. Drone flies through congressional hearing. Another drone crashed carrying methamphetamine. NBC News. This is really just the rise of the robots. We'll get to all that in the next segment and open the phones up. But first off, look at this article. And I've got stacks like this every few days. And it's not our intent to sit here and just demonize the police because that will then play into the role of an us against them mentality. But the Stockton police out in California fired more than 600 rounds at SUV. Court documents now show of a bank robbery suspect who supposedly had hostages. And they shot the hostage 10 times, killing her. I mean, that's this overkill business where now they're all like special ops soldiers out there to fight an enemy. And so a guy gets out of his car with his cell phone and the cops shoot him. That happened in Austin. And the cop actually got in trouble because, okay, you're scared. You got a bunch of adrenaline. I get it. But it's this, it's this, it's this shoot them up training. It's this instinctive shooting training that a lot of police trainers are criticizing because, yeah, it gets cops to where they're ready to shoot and, and not hesitate. But at the same time, they'll just pull their gun out and shoot a guy in handcuffs in the back because they're so brainwashed to just pull their gun instantly and shoot. It's scary. I mean, you're not gunfighters at the OK Corral is the point. And we, the citizens, lives matter just as much as yours. And this new video of unarmed black man with hands up killed shot six times by New Jersey cops. We're going to play that video on that audio right now, unedited, only bleeping the cuss words from the police. New Jersey police have released a video of two police officers shooting and killing a black man as he tried to get out of the car with his hands up. Now, let's be clear. We showed a national study just two weeks ago showing that whites and Hispanics are almost twice as likely to be shot by police per capita than blacks. So... Whites are getting shot like this, too, by itchy trigger finger cops. These are kind of like guys that go deer hunting for the first time that shoot the neighbor's cow because they think it's a deer and then argue they saw antlers. They get buck fever and they get scared to death. Well, the people you're aiming guns at get scared. The guy put his hands up, gets out of the car, and they shoot him. And it's all because there was a gun when the cops got in the glove compartment. Well, having a gun is not a reason to get killed. And I told the story of an Austin cop when I was still in high school. I was a senior. Pulled me over, saw a weight belt in the front seat, pulled a gun out instantly, shoved it to my head, and said, get your effing hands up, get your hands up. I did, and he goes, don't move, don't move, don't move. What is that? What is that? Go, That's my weight belt. He looks at it, looks at it. All right, all right, well, you can go. You can go. I'll just be, uh, at least he didn't shoot me or take me to jail or beat me up once his adrenaline got up. So we're going to play that video right now. Let's go ahead and go to it. They pull over the Jaguar. Hey, how y'all doing? How you doing? Good. Hey, Officer Dave's Bristol Police. The reason I'm pulling you over, you went right through that stop sign back there. Where at? Uh, right, right on uh, South Pine Street. Uh, hey, you got a driver's license? Yeah, I got my driver's license. What's up, man? Can you go ahead and grab it for me? Uh, we'll we'll stop. 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 No, no. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Don't move. Don't you move. Don't you move. Get him out of the car, Raj. We got a gun in this glove compartment. Don't you move. Don't you move. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Don't you move. I'm going to shoot you. You're, you're going to be dead. Head pause. I want to come back and play this unedited because we're going up to break, but you notice it's a black police officer. So see, Al Sharpton won't be able to make a big deal out of this, which I think is questionable. I don't think the cop wanted to kill him on purpose. He was scared. But having a gun in your glove compartment should not be a death sentence. But unfortunately, Al Sharpton and, and, and George Soros can't cause a race riot over this because it's a black cop. We're on the march.